Hello and welcome to Asian Petroe. Today we have Kia Sorento. Both systems are working very seamlessly. It's keeping the safe distance with the car in front and also reading the line. So this is 2020 Kia Sorento, just released in January in Korea. Still third generation, but Kia made few changes for 2020 year update. So we're gonna take a look at the design and of course take her for a drive. And before we begin, please support us by subscribing to our channel. Not much differences can be found from the front except this dark chrome grille. I think it looks more mature. Guys, let me know what you think about the new grille design. And to the each side is full LED system with bifunctional LED DRL and also turn signal. LED fog lamp and lower trims are equipped with projection type headlamp and fog lamp. And you can choose between six different exterior colors and our tester has rich espresso okay let's move to the side so this third generation sorento which launched in korea back in year 2015 shares this platform with kia carnival also known as sedona's in some markets overall the third generation's lower and wider and longer compared to the second generation it can you can choose between seven or five seating configurations and our tester has seven seats Okay, let's take a look at the inside too, because Sorento is mid-size SUV. There's plenty of space inside. Although I'm 6'2", there is, hold on, there's plenty of legroom and headroom. Down here, there's air vents for the second row passengers, USB 220-volt, 12-volt charging. And I love the flat floor. There's even walk-in device. And although it's manual, there is also sunshade for the side. Almost forgot to tell you, but there's big panoramic sunroof glass on the top. And this 2020 Sorentos are equipped with this new 19 inch chrome rims. They're wrapped around with 235, 55, 19 on front and back. And then let me show you the braking performance of new Sorento. It stopped well in stable manner. Brakes are better than I thought. The rear design remains pretty much the same with same LED combination tail lamp with backup and turn signal. Reflectors on each side and dual tips but single exhaust on the right side. Let me also show you the trunk as well. For 2020 year model you can choose a tailgate speed between fast or normal this is being normal uh, trunk space seems pretty large and if you move the cover there's the uh, third row seats you can manually unfold it like so space wise it looks uh, more adequate for small kids not big adults like me and to the right there's also air vents and climate control cup holders and even usb charging port and you can also slide or pull the second row seats to yield more cargo room. In Korea, Sorentos are sold with three different engine choices. 2 liter diesel, 2.2 liter diesel and 2 liter turbocharged gasoline. And our tester is equipped with 2.2 liter diesel producing 202 horsepower and 325 pound feet of torque. It is made it to 8 speed automatic and our tester also has all wheel drive system. So let me show you how fast Sorento can be.
It took Soren to a 2.2 diesel by 9 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour. It's even slightly faster than the 2 liter turbocharged Santa Fe. It's probably more efficient as well. Let's check out the efficiency of Sorento 2.2 diesel. 2.2 liter diesel returned 28 miles per gallon in the city and 42 miles per gallon on the highway. So diesel is much much more efficient compared to the gasoline engine. Let me show you the interior from the driver's seat before we go out to drive it. Gauges are analog type and there's 7 inch LCD in the middle showing various information to the driver and even color. And the speed is also digital too. To the right there's 8 inch infotainment screen that can be also operated by touching so it's convenient. Down here we also have 12 volt auxiliary USB charging ports and even wireless charging pad. Those which all can be easily hidden by this cover. Now let's go out to the road with Sorrento. First of all, because it's diesel, you feel the noise and vibration coming from the engine. But it's quite nicely muted. It also has stop and go functionality, so it will remain very calm on stoplights. Like so. Not bad, right? And as for the visibility, it's generally easy to see out of big windows around and there isn't any part particularly blocking your line of sight, so it's easy to drive. And if you ever get stuck in a tight spot, the surround view monitor will help you out in no time. And just like any other Kia models, the climate controls are made of physical buttons and dials which are easy to use even while driving. There are four different drive modes. Now let's put the car into sport and drive. When you change the drive mode, it changes shifting timing, throttle response, and even steering input, but it still doesn't change a whole lot of Sorento's calm character. When you're cruising like this, you might not even notice the diesel engine. It's that quiet and smooth when you're cruising. And because its peak torque starts around 1750, it moves the car very smooth with lots of torque. But not everyone drives like a maniac, so Kia gave Sorento auto hold, active bending lightning, and also optional head up display so the driver can stay focused on the road and feel comfortable at the same time. It's always nice to have power under your control so that you can have some fun when you feel like it. Wow. 
not that. <laughs> it's quite heavy, yes. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of boot type gear selector, but Kia was smart enough to add pedal shifters behind the steering wheel so that you can shift by yourself. Well, the 8-speed automatic is not the fastest, but it's not slow either. It's shifting very quickly and also smoothly. I think it's a perfect fit for SUVs. New Sorentos are equipped with rack-type electric steering system, so it feels better than some of its competition, but it's still not razor sharp. Whether it's tuned for more stable and easy maneuverability. Suspension is also tuned for relaxed driving, so if you really push it around corners, it would lean more than you would like it to, so I wouldn't hustle it around corners. It's still holding up pretty nicely. Wow. <laughs> Our tester also has all the driving aids you can think of, but let me just show you adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist working together. Right now, both systems are working very seamlessly. It's keeping the safe distance with the car in front and also reading the lines. It's very convenient to use, but for your own safety, always keep your hands on the steering wheel. Even on high speed, it feels very stable. I cannot tell you how fast, but it's very stable. I like it. Today we had a chance to test drive 2020 Kia Sorento. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll be back with more car reviews. And before you leave, Please support us by subscribing to our channel. Thank you. Just realize, but you can take out this part of the cup folder so you can use it longer. And there's also a you know, lid for that. It's very nice. Let me also show you one more safety feature of Toronto. Let's just say we come to the destination, turn off and open the car and the Sorento is alarming you to say check your rear seats because you might have your child or occupant sitting behind so you don't forget. Pretty nice. There's also thigh extension for those of you with long legs. 